guys, it's Adventure Sum again and welcome to another video. Today we're going to do a, a product review of this Oxello Car 540 board. It's available in Decathlon and I have this for months now, probably about two months and I have just gained my first battle scar. So meron na akong, hindi siya pasa, meron na akong gas gas sa tuhod and uh, I think it's enough experience for me to share my first two months of experience with this Oxello board. But before I'll start, I would like to invite everyone, especially if you're not yet a subscriber, please do subscribe to this channel. And if you do like this video, please don't forget to like and share your comments below. So this board measures 32.6 by 9 by 76 inches and it weighs about 3 kilograms. So hindi siya ganun kabigat, hindi rin siya ganun ka, kagaan. And um, it's always sold out sa Decathlon probably because of its price and baka, baka lang talaga siguro most of the people are always looking for this because it's a good board for a beginner and especially if you are conscious on your budget and conscious about the quality as well this is a very very nice board to start with to begin with and one thing that i like is that hindi na compromise ng quality yung price niya kasi we always have that um, idea kasi na pag mura mabilis masira pangat yung performance this is priced 6400 um medyo mas mura nga siya compared to other boards or compared to other boards and other brands out there that cost more than uh, or almost 10,000 per board with my super basic skills in in um, surf skate actually yung surf not not just in surf skate ha, in in general for boards for skateboards Probably yung skill ko is 1 out of 10. Yung skill ko lang talaga sa boards before is to take a board and... Ganyan, picture-picture lang talaga. Tapos po sa IG na ano, I'm a cool kid. Ganyan, marunong ako mag ano. Um, I can say that in a very short span of time, I was able to find my balance and know how to ride a surf skate this time. Don't you wanna have fun? Now the most common review ng CAR 540 is that um, it's sudden stop range of motion which could be an advantage for a beginner like me an ideal for um, an ideal for someone who is just starting for um, surf skating reason why ideal siya kasi if you are just practicing and getting um, speed and palms practicing your practicing your ano ba yan? your your um, body movements, practicing your speed, how to um, to to um, how to pump and how to control your board. Maganda siya kasi hindi siya yung super nagsa slide, super mabilis na 
hindi ka mabilis mo magsa kasi it's very steady board. Yun yung yun yung maganda niya, parang it works as an advantage. Most likely those people who are complaining about the sudden stop range of motion of this Oxello is that they already have um, they already have skills in surf skating. Probably they have not check the capabilities of doing this um, skateboard. That's one reason as well why I would like to do a review so that pag katulad ko na kakaumpisan nyo pa lang, you will, you will definitely know what kind of board you're going to get and um, kung ano ba, yung, ano ba yung advantages and disadvantages of this board. For me kasi, kaya siguro ako, ito pa lang yung sugat na nakukuha ko. Isa pa lang yung sugat na nakukuha ko. Kasi I'm starting from the lowest low of my skill set and learning through experience. So yung feedback na Oxelo doesn't carve deeply compared to other brands, it is a pro side for me kasi I just started to learn how to carve. So if advanced yung board ko, most likely, ang dami kong sugat, di ba? And also, one thing that is my favorite about this uh, surf skate is that this board can speed up quickly, konting push lang. Um, ako kasi I don't know how to stride. Stride is when you try to push the board using your legs. Ako talaga hindi ako marunong nun. So you have to rely on how quickly you can uh, speed up with this board through your legs and through your pumps. And which is maganda kasi part of your workout as well is paanohan mo na lang yung legs mo. Palakasin mo na lang yung legs mo. At this stage, I'm learning how to pump and carve with my Oxello and the trucks are very stable and heavier compared to the 66 board that I have tried. So I've tried the Captain um, 66 surf skate and medyo magalaw nga siya. It's easier to to carve and to make turns pero but with Oxello it works as an advantage kasi since heavier siya I've trained my legs to um, to be more stable and to uh, produce more power so that mas mabilis yung ano ko, mas mabilis yung pag control ko sa board. This one is a bit heavier. We're talking about this one compared dun sa 66 uh, Captain na surfboard, skateboard, skateboard. I mean, <laughs> medyo sticky nga yung ano niya, yung gulong niya. So if you are riding, especially dito sa amin, walang ano, walang uh, surf skate bowl so if you are riding on uh, regular tracks mga cement mga ano mabilis siyang dumikit so you really have to rely power from your legs para mas malakas yung pag push mo ng board and para mas maganda yung pag takbo mo so in that essence as well it's part of the con side kasi if you would like to do some snaps dip carves mahirap siya gawin dito sa Oxello surf skate. Also, um, this could be a very big factor for those who are buying this and would like to ride um, sa surf skate bowl kasi this one like I have checked from most of the reviews. Ito, sumasabi to sa bowl, sa surf skate bowl. So, if that happens usually nahuhulog sila sa bowl. So, that could be really uh, a factor. And hopefully by the time that I will try um, surf skating or I will try surf skate and a uh, surf skate bowl hindi na ako mahuhulog and probably meron na akong bagong board by that time or nonetheless you can always try to look for parts if you would like to upgrade and that's also one of the factors that I would like to point out because it doesn't come with um, it doesn't come with parts so uh, pag mayroong nasira or pag meron kang gustong i-upgrade, you really have to look outside of Decathlon. Which is marami namang available sa mga groups and sa mga other, um, sa mga other skateboard um, stores. Sarap paglaro dito kasi nasa... Good.
with my experience with my Oxelo Car 540. Sobrang na surpass na yung expectations ko. Sobrang na enjoy ko every ride. I'm not pretty sure if that will stay the same once I will develop my skills in surf skate, but for now it serves its purpose and yun yung pinaka importante. And um, that's it for me for now. Hopefully we'll have more rides and hopefully malaman ko kung if it's safe for safe for downhill cuz I am um, really very committed to try it all right so i hope you guys enjoy this video and if you do please don't forget to share your emoji icon the uh, skate surf or skateboard emoji on the comment section below thank you so much and i hope to see you again in the next video bye <laughs>